What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm going go-karting with F1 YouTubers and people from Codemasters. This should be sick. Now, all that I know at this stage is that we're racing indoors. Um, I've never raced on an indoor circuit before. The carts are electric. Again, haven't raced electric carts either and haven't raced in the real world against the likes of Matt Noble, Alex Gillen, Arab, all those guys. So it's going to be no lag, uh, <laughs> no excuses, just a couple of guys in the real world racing on an actual track. This doesn't happen uh, very, very often. So as you can tell, I'm very, very excited for today. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Yep. Harry Jacks, congratulations. That's the track. That is the track, and that is Ben you're walking into. Hello. Vlogging vlog inception. Matt, give us give us your race winning race winning pose. Go on. So Scott. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what does that one mean? That's more we might we might be seeing a few of those. Um, I'm colorblind. I don't know. I'm just carry on driving. Yeah, no, I'm familiar with all of those. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I'm very familiar with uh, that one. Blue flags. Blue flags. This is entertaining as fuck. This is like this is like this is like Monaco on Walk Weekend. What the f are we doing here? What a stupid action! I'm going home! Hairpin me up. It's a virtual safety car. Wow! <laughs> yeah, he does. So, how much carnage is this? I know, it was so bad. I really wish I got that, that bit where the guy got squeezed over there into the wall. See that wall that's adjusted right there? Someone got squeezed into that. No, so, yeah, I'm expecting Monaco like scenes. Um, so am I. It's time for the drive of your life. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready for the drive of my life, lads. Are you? Yeah, I am. I am. Here we go. I really don't think you guys are ready for what will be quite simply a driving masterclass. The drive of our lives as the go-kart place said it was going to be. But anyway, I've got two GoPros set up on um, two of the carts for this race. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't set up a GoPro on my helmet, so I had to borrow the helmets of um, Steve, who was one of the handling designers at Codemasters, and also Dave Greco, who was also one of the handling designers at Codemasters as well. So, unfortunately, there's going to be no onboard footage from um, the YouTubers. Um, we were all in one group of seven, and then um, the other group of testers, plus the Codemasters guys, were in a group um, that you're seeing right now of seven. So, I've still got some outboard shots, and I will include that in this video, but uh, I'm just going to commentate over... Um, their race and talk about our race um, and what happened with us and just uh, see how it goes really I noticed when watching back the footage of this is Dave Greco with the red gloves and Steve is um, on the blue Gloves by the way just thought I mentioned that but um, Yeah, I noticed in in these sessions I noticed these guys were finding gaps and just waiting for clear spaces of tractors to get bang in the fastest laps possible whereas in our lobbies 
uh, or in our sessions rather, I noticed that we just raced each other a whole lot more and I think that made it much more exciting. But I can understand it from their point of view. I mean, the whole point of the day is to really set the fastest lap time possible, um, not essentially race each other for track position. So yeah, I can understand them wanting to push and set the fastest lap possible, but at the same time, we are there to have a little bit of fun, and I think that's what we did a little bit more in our sessions. But in saying that, they still had a lot of battling in the other um, group as well. So that was the end of the first session. I think David Greco was not happy with the performance of his card. He said it was really lacking in power, and um, he was quite clearly uh, frustrated with that. And you know, I think I saw him banging into walls at some points and just shaking his head. And, he just wasn't competitive at all, and at, at all. And if you if you know Dave Greco at all, you know he's a absolutely wickedly fast driver. So he's not really used to uh, losing all that much. But here's a cheeky little battle with Steve going up the inside of someone. We're now back on board with Greco, who's following back by two carts. So there's a nice little train here in this second session with these guys. We had three sessions over the course of the night, um, and uh, I think in the third session that we had as YouTubers. We, we all decided to wait up for each other and just um, have a, a massive battle, but I'll talk about that a little later in the um, footage. But again, this is David Greco getting another overtake done. I think Steve got an overtake done himself and um, moves um, further away from Dave. I think that's what he was uh, trying to do. It was really these two guys um, battling it out for fastest laps and trying to get a uh, track position, I suppose. Dave brushes that... Um, outside wall they're very easy to do it's very tight in that part of the track and you can see here Dave is just absolutely trying to get the most out of the circuit trying to make it as wide as possible just to um, keep up that that exit speed and that momentum again he's uh, on the move this is actually um, Steve now um, on one of the slower carts he's uh, in a slipstream there's a really nasty bump on the uh, approach to that braking zone you literally fly over and it's like a it, it's not even a bump it's it's more like a jump and um, depending on what card you had, that would really hurt. I think Harry got some kind of like massive scratch or bruise on his back because his car, one of his cars was so brutal going over that. But um, yeah, really fun. The sense of speed was, was so fast. And you don't get that sense of speed when you're watching it from a GoPro with a wide angle lens. Um, just being so close to the ground in the electric carts. Wasn't expecting them to be as quick as what they were, but man, they felt fast. And they were just as fun as well. But that's the end of the second session. I actually did some vlogging while I was there, so I'm going to cut to that footage where I think I tell you about my sort of raw and first experience after my first session of driving some of these go-karts. So let's see how that goes. So the first session is done. Um, I think Gillen got the fastest time, JD was second, and somehow I actually got third. So the trick is with these, the, uh, the, by the way, they felt so fast. You literally have to throw it into the corner, slide it, jam on the brakes, and then just floor it on the exit. Being electric carts and being indoor, it feels so fast, it's ridiculous. Yeah! Put weight on the outside tyres to get more grip, somewhat, I don't know. Really? Oh my god, that's why they're faster. The standard carting technique. David's going to be fuming, he's coming like clearly lost. Sweaty bastards. <laughs> oh, you just, he got your... Yeah, Greco's got mine, and, and Steve has got my other one. So, this is Ben and everyone about to get in their carts. Um, what you don't know is they're actually wearing hair nets underneath there. Um, little cool fact they probably won't tell you, but I am going to anyway. Thanks for that, Jenny, for sharing that uh, very insightful fact. Those uh, hair nets, they, they were not flattering at all, I, I will say that much. But here we go, this is the final session of the day. Um, this is the one where we decided to slow up on the formation lap, the warm-up lap, and just uh, let the carnage ensue really so I was the lead car I was the first one out I waited up for everyone and on the first flying lap uh, we'd all go green flag racing and uh, be racing in this huge uh, pack but that's not how it went down on the uh, final straight before the first lap was set to end Scott decides to go from the back to overtake everyone on that straight I saw it coming Arav was in second I moved to the inside to block and it just kicked off from there. This was 
the most intense go-kart race I have ever been a part of. You can see here from the footage, this is a few laps into that race, so the gaps were already starting to emerge. I think I got to the front, I stayed in the front pretty much, um, could feel myself pulling away, so I decided to wait up for a couple of cars and um, we, you know, battled away for the next five or so minutes. I got back to the front, JD then overtook me, we started pulling away again. I kind of waited up again and um, JD was gone so it was just a case of myself, Matt, Gillen uh, into the barrier, all of us, Harry Jacks just battling away for uh, what was ultimately um, just, I don't know, a bit of pride, a bit of fun. Uh, I think at one point Scott actually drilled me into one of the hairpins because I was taking a really wide line trying to um, not run into the back of someone and then he just absolutely pile drives into the side of me. He got damage on his cart, his throttle pedal was stuck down for the rest of the session and my life flashed before my eyes that actually took the wind out of me but somehow I was able to carry on it was um, very interesting ordeal but yeah so many dive bombs are going on um, I, I will say I was not playing friendly with a lot of the guys I was dive bombing and um, barging people out of the way and it was just such good fun here is a battle with um, Greco and um, Steve, this is um, Greco going right up the inside there. Steve was anticipating him going around the outside, but he um, did the old switchback and got him up the inside, and that was uh, that move done there. So, yeah, it was just an absolutely crazy race. The final one of the day, and yeah, we decided to just wait up for each other just for the bands, and it was so fun. I just wish so much that I had a GoPro just to capture what went down in that final session. It was absolutely amazing. So much battling. For the entirety of the 10 minutes if I do end up going to this place again um, or if I do get invited to Cody's next year I think I might just buy a helmet like when I'm in England and just attach a GoPro to it I think that would be um, better than bringing one from Australia but um, that is all the uh, go-karting footage I think we've got a few clips to finish off here um, as soon as my session ended in the third one I ran for my camera grabbed it started recording and just wanted to capture all of the reaction to that absolutely mental race so let's cut to that and see what the other guys have to say I spun yeah. and then Scott has drilled me oh I seen him God. coming and, and I thought my, I thought my life was I over I know come and bring it just get out of the way <laughs> so you spun you that. yeah oh uh, well I was coming in wide and, and I was slow at the apex and then I've seen you come steaming in. I slowed down and waited for everyone to catch up, yeah. I think so, yeah. I slowed up a couple of times. That was so manic. I, there was like six or seven of us in this huge pack. It was mental. No, I think somebody else Oh, we were pile driving everyone was in there. Just like a... Who, who went sideways then? That was me. The best thing was, like, you all came out and we were sort of waiting for one or two to come round. And you all, <laughs> all ready. came Six round. Six cars all in a row. Oh. Scott was just like, you went from last to first yeah. pretty much. Scott was being the safety guard to bunch us all up. And I just see Scott accelerate <laughs> down the fucking I, Yeah, yeah number seven. <laughs> I saw you on the inside and then I went to the inside to block. <laughs> uh, I was doing 6-9. I did a 20... <laughs> 26 0 in traffic. Holy oh, shit. Have a quick guitar. Which number did you have? 17. I think someone mentioned it. Probably you got a smash. Yeah, I got smashed by Scott. Yeah, yeah. You, you just go two by two completely. Yeah. Alright then, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that was me that spun and he hit me, yeah. Oh man. Oh, damn it. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. How not to take that heavy? Oh, there's Harry, 28. Um, Arrow, 29. It's raining on my screen. Wait. Get the inters out. <laughs> you got it, JD. <laughs> that is going on social media. Actually, no, I might wait for the uh, get a better venue. Shit. <laughs> sorry, oh God, sorry. <laughs> so that was karting over the course of the testing week of F1 2017. I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, the footage that I was able to put up. Yes, it wasn't perfect, and I really wish that I could have had a GoPro of my own to, to stick in our race that we had personally, but 
next year, like I said, I think I might just buy a helmet and see how we go with that. But yeah, massive thank you to David Greco and also to Steve for allowing me to use my GoPros on uh, their helmets and um, at least get some footage for you guys to watch over the course of the video. I think in the end, um, Daunting Couch, who is a league racer and forum member, uh, and also one of the testers who came along, he uh, set the fastest lap of the day, um, got a champagne bottle, David Greco got second, and Steve got third. So I stuck the GoPros on the right helmets, I, I suppose, over the course of the night, but yeah, it was just so fun. I think my favorite uh, moment of the night was when I was overtaking Matt at one point. I think it was the second session. He he saw I was quick in the first um, session and he was a little bit fed up of me overtaking him and I, I blew past him in a straight line and he was like, how the fuck are you so quick? I could hear him shouting that over all the road noise and the and the carts and all the racing and it was just, it's so funny. And on the next lap when he was chasing me, I just flipped in the bird just just cheekily on, on the straight as I was um, stretching away from him and then he was um, as you could probably tell not happy with that but yeah that was carding hopefully you enjoyed it make sure you smash a like button on this video I mean it's not very often that we as F1 youtubers get to race each other in real life apart from the F1 game uh, you know without lag without any of the other distractions that come with um, gaming I suppose so yeah, like I said, doesn't happen all too often. I can only say a massive thank you to Codemasters for, for organising this, uh, for putting it on for us. Um, it really was a highlight of the whole testing week that we did in Birmingham. So, yeah, massive shout out to those guys. And um, hopefully if we uh, can go again next year, I'm going to do it better, bigger and better with uh, maybe more GoPros and just bringing my own helmet, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's that's going to be really sick if that does take place once again. But that's been this video for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you uh, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more F1 videos. Uh, I've got one more video from testing that's going to go up po possibly next week while I'm away at the Australian Grand Prix. Um, it's my final day at Codemasters. We did a time trial kind of competition on F1 2016 on a D-Box, so I was able to record that, so you'll see some footage of us driving and having a bit of a laugh, so, um, and then th there's just me signing off and going home and um, all the rest of that and saying goodbye to all the F1 YouTubers, so there's still that video to come, and um, yeah, that's it for the uh, F1 2017 testing, but yeah, just the whole experience, all the videos, hopefully you have enjoyed them, um, still one more to come, like I said, but until then, guys, Thank you so much for watching. Career Mode will be out very soon as well. So until then, I'll see you next time.